friends, I am Jamie Thomas J.R. from 7th Standard A and today's scientist is Sir Jagadish Chandra Bose. Sir Jagadish Chandra Bose was an eminent Indian scientist. He was the first to prove that plants and metals do have feelings. He was a pioneer in microwave optics technology. He was the first to show that semiconductor rectifiers could detect radio waves. Jagadish Chandra Bose was born on November 30, 1858 in Maiman Sangh now in Bangladesh. He had his early education in a Bengal medium school. In 1969, he was sent to Calcutta to learn English and was educated at St. Xavier School and College. He was a brilliant student. He passed the BA in Physical Sciences in 1879. In 1880, Bose went to study medicine at London University, England. In 1885, he returned from abroad with a B.Sc. degree and Natural Science to In 1894, Bose decided to devote himself to pure research. He plotted in detail the voltage current characteristics of his junctions, nothing their non-linear characteristics. Bose was the first to use a semiconductor junction to detect radio waves, and he invented various commonplace microwave components. Bose later switched from physics to the study of metals and then plants. Bose showed experimentally plants to have life. He invented an instrument to record the pulse of plants and connected it to a plant. The plant with its roots were carefully picked up and dipped to its stem in a vessel containing bromide, a poison. The plant's pulse beat, which the instrument recorded as a steady to and fro movement like the pendulum of a clock, began to grow unsteadily. Soon, the spot vibrated violently and then came to a sudden stop. The plant had died because of he studied the effects of electromagnetic radiation on plants, a topical field today. His contribution to this field were pioneering. He introduced many delicate and sensitive instruments, such as the chestograph, which was used for recording plant growth. It could magnify a small movement as much as million times. It is now recognized that Bose had made very significant contribution to the field of chronobiology and circadian rhythms even before these two technical terms were coined. He retired in 1915 and was appointed Emeritus Professor, Presidency College, Calcutta for a period of five years. He founded the Bose Institute in India, devoted mainly to the study of plants. Today, the institute carries research on other fields too. In 1917, a king thought was conferred on Bose. In 1920, he became the first Indian scientist to be elected to Great Britain's Presidency Royal Society. Jagadish Chandra Bose died on November 23, 1937. Now it's quiz time. Today's question is, which instrument is used to record the plant growth? Stay tuned, keep watching, thank you.